a happy marriage. No, impossible. Other chicken part. This is an abusive <laughs> cooking challenge. It's like a baby. Oh, okay. which is honestly a morning vlog. Today is morning. I know I may not look like it from the studio lighting since we're not using natural lighting, but guess what? It's currently like 12 in the morning. It's 11.52 and we just woke up because we're incredibly jet lagged. I don't know why as the days passed, it just increasingly got worse. Like at one point we were taking little midday naps. We're gonna I be jet lagged for the next year. <laughs> <laughs> jet lagged. <laughs> what happens when you don't travel a lot, okay? <laughs> We're just gonna move. We're just gonna move to the other side, and then we're gonna be chill like again. And I decided that today is the day that I filmed the most highly anticipated cooking challenge video of my career, of my life, of my entirety of this YouTube channel. And that is a video that nobody asked for. It's the giant chicken nugget and French fries challenge. Okay. Oh, we're doing French fries. Yeah, let's look at the potato. But this is not even. Uh, Wait, I needed three pounds. This is three pounds. No, it's not. You go step on a scale right now. This is 2.8 pounds. Okay. How much is a pound? Probably like one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them together. <laughs> No, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, this video all started, I believe, multiple years ago with Healthy Junk Food. They have a YouTube channel. They made giant chicken nuggets, and then they made a giant french fry, and then BuzzFeed, I think, I want to call it revived it, but redid it recently, and now Stephanie Sue is going to redo it again. But the difference is, I don't think it's going to go well here, so... They both killed it, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know how. I mean, other than the fact that all of them are professional chefs. But are like, really? I just don't get it, yeah. You're a professional? <laughs> professional YouTuber. <laughs> so I have all of my ingredients here. We put the chicken in the fridge because that's how you become a sanitary sister. We've got some potatoes here. We've got some spices. But I know that you guys are so interested on how I got money back as I grocery shop. That's a question that I've been asking for the entirety of my life since I became an adult. I know that sometimes it's necessary to spend money, especially things like groceries. And sometimes maybe even makeup is what I tell myself. And I always wonder how to get money back. And I bet you do too. So that's what I'm about to tell you about today. <laughs> so today's video is actually sponsored by Drop. Drop. Drop the mic because it's about to be real good, sis. If you guys have never heard of Drop, I'm going to link them in the description. But it's a completely free app that works kind of like a rewards program in my head. And you get points by shopping at your favorite places. And I'm not talking obscure places. I'm talking about the places that you guys go on a daily basis. Your grocery stores, your Trader Joe's, your Whole Foods, your Sephora's, your Postmates. And the way that it works is you hook up your credit card or a debit card and then you just spend it. Or you can actually shop through their app as well if you're more into online shopping. So what I do is I hooked up my credit card to the Drop app and then I went to Whole Foods and with that credit card, I checked out at Whole Foods. I love that because there's nothing else I have to do. Like I don't have to go to Whole Foods and be like, oh man, like I forgot to like give them my Drop app. Like I don't have to do that. And now I've also made it a habit when I do online shop, I make sure to go through the Drop app. Even if you don't know if the store is on there, check because a lot of the times they are and you'd be surprised. And so every time I do my Sephora makeup shopping, I always use Drop and I get points back and then once you get these points and you rack them up rack them up okay sorry <laughs> then they actually translate into gift cards i mean they have so many gift cards that you guys can choose from they've got amazon gift cards starbucks Revolve. I feel like that's something everybody could use, right? Yeah. I mean, you're always going to buy potatoes. You're going to buy potatoes either way. You're going to make giant chicken nuggets either way. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, why don't you get some points for it and get some gift cards? Also, it's super convenient because sometimes I know that I need leggings, right? But it's I don't really necessarily care where they're from. I just want some cute leggings. You can even type in, like, by categories. You can search specific store names on the Drop app. Sometimes maybe you just want to shop at the place that will give you the most points back. And so you can browse those websites and I'm super excited because Drop and I are actually doing a giveaway together and it's so many of you guys a hundred 100, Whoa. 100 fan of Packers, sorry, will be chosen at random to get gift cards ranging from $5 to $25. And this 
was all thanks to Drop. Thank you for making this happen for us. All you have to do to enter in this giveaway to win is to download the app and use the code Sue and make sure to link a card, whether it's a debit card, a credit card, you know, tell your mom about it to get more chances of winning. And that's all you gotta do. Now you're entered to win the giveaway and a hundred people are gonna be chosen. Thank you, Drop, for sponsoring today's video, but also helping us get points for doing things that we already do, such as grocery shopping. Now let's get into this cooking challenge, which is gonna be a lot harder than using the Drop app. Here's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to go through the recipe with you. You're gonna be working on the nuggets. I'm gonna be working on the french fry. Honestly, I think the french fry is gonna be a little bit more difficult, but that's just me, sis, you know? Do you know? wanna switch? No. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna go with the french fry. So all you have to do is you have to open up our chicken packages. We've got, it's technically one pound per one nugget. One pound of chicken per nugget. This is this is one pound, this is one pound. Yeah, so we're gonna have two massive nuggets. So you're just gonna put those on both hands. You know how I feel about chicken. Guys, I never cook chicken at home, not because I don't like chicken. I love chicken, especially on my chipotle burrito bowl. But I just don't like like um, all the, I don't know, my mom never really used a lot of chicken because she was scared of the bacteria. Which I'm sure is fine. I'm sure I eat a lot of bacteria. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God damn, this is an abusive <laughs> cooking challenge. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so here's what you do. You just take them out and shape them to a McDonald's chicken nugget shape. And they've got four different shapes, so maybe you should Google it and see which two That's all? That's it, and then we freeze it, and then we get into the hard stuff. While I peel the potatoes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I shape them, yeah. and then what? We freeze them. Where do I put it? On a wax. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> McDonald's chicken nugget has four shapes? Yes! I did not know that. Uh -huh. That's insane. There's only four types of nugget. Yeah. That's kind of funny. Whenever I pick up that boot shape one, the boot shape. I always think of a boot. <laughs> the I'm boot like, huh. shape. It's you again. It's you again. It's always that one. Oh, there's the boot. Yeah. Oh, the ball. I don't like the ball. I like the bone. That's kind of the traditional one, right? Also, we don't have a vegetable peeler. Continue. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Let me do that. No, no, no. That's not even the right knife either. That's the steak knife. <laughs> Look at it. These could be it's, steak fries. It's it's, it's uh, <laughs> crinkle fries. <laughs> You're about to be mind blown. Look at this. Whoa! Before they were fried? That's weird. That is so cool. Also, guys, I'm sitting. Careful. I'm being careful. Can I do that? No, no, no. How are you gonna make jumbo fries? So, exactly what I do, I'm gonna peel these, uh -huh. cut them into small pieces, then boil them, and then you mash them up, and then you make the long french fry shape. You're kidding me. And then you freeze it, and then you fry it later. You're kidding me. That's pretty insane. That's insane, right? That's pretty insane. Like, insane in a good way, or like, insane as in, who am I marrying? I'm scared. <laughs> like, insane in a, like, what's it's the point? It's not gonna work. <laughs> Don't I have to season this? No, they said don't season it till later. Bring right. the batter. Am I supposed to do this? Can you make that noise? Yeah, I'm assuming. What noise? This noise? Ew! Do you think they want some chicken ASMR <laughs> noise? I don't think so. I think they do. <laughs> Ew, get the chicken away from my mic. Ew, no, that's enough. They don't want this. You don't get to have creative input on this channel. You, why don't we just do a giant meatball? No, <laughs> it's not on this Today's menu is giant chicken nuggets. All you need to do is change the title of the video. No! This is on my dream board. This is my I mean, vision look. board. This is my bucket list. Giant oh! meatball. The shape of that. I'm gonna do bone. Okay. What's the other one? Oh, boot. Boot. You gotta do the boot. The boot is iconic. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. Boots and pants. <gasps> Boots and pants. Hey, honey, what's interesting right now is I can literally do whatever I want. What do you mean? Do you mean? want a star? Do you want a heart? No. <laughs> like I can do any it's shape you want. Right you want a motorcycle? You want a bicycle? I what don't do you think want? your talent extends that far. I can do it. No, you can't. No, I'm, I can do it. Give me a diamond YouTube play Man. button. Huh? What? <laughs> YouTube play button? Yeah. Nah. Nah. Who wants that? <laughs> So Honey, I can literally do anything. I can do anything. I'm a big kid now. Hey, you want to know something real crazy? I was on BuzzFeed the other day. The yeah. website. Because I was inspired by their nuggets. I was like, I wonder what they're up to. Like an old friend, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I saw... shouldn't play with this chicken. It's getting weird. I saw this article about this girl and she had yeah. tweeted about it. And on Twitter, she posted like a long text message from her ex-boyfriend. 
uh-huh. who they dated for quite some time. I think they considered each other their first loves. And he texted her right before his wedding day. Uh-huh. And he said that his fiance knows he's texting her. But just wants like to thank her for everything. Like, and he was like, "Thank you for teaching me how to love someone." You what know, the f- thank you. Okay, that's your reaction, right? The internet was divided. It was the parted sea because half the people were Wait, like, so, "Let's sorry. talk about maturity." Okay, so, so she her. posted this. Yeah, and then she she did like a oh my god, and I oop or something, right? Because it was like so emotional for her. She likes it. I don't know. I think so because, you know, she said her and her ex went through a lot at the time because, you know, one of their close what friends, the like, heck? had um, taken their life. They helped each other through it, right? But Twitter was, like, enraged. It was, like, half and half. Half the people were saying, imagine having an ex this mature, and they loved it, right? And then the what? other half of Twitter was like, I don't know. This just feels weird. Like, some people were pointing out the fact that, like, the real wait, MVP wait, wait. is I'm the sorry. future. Yeah. Is the what? Is the fiancé. The real MVP is the fiance. Yeah, that let him text her. What? And then some people were saying it's annoying because it's like so self-accomplishing for the ex-boyfriend. Because it's almost like, I'm getting married. I don't know where you are in life. Hope you're doing well. But just wanted to let you know, because of you, I am insanely happy with my new girl. I don't know. Is he though? So nobody knows where he's coming from. Is he coming from a petty place? No, people... I mean, it seems like she, the Uh ex-girlfriend, is saying that he's just coming from, like, an honest place. Like, he's really thankful? Yeah, but you know what's weird for me? Bits, it's a wedding, not a funeral. You ain't dying. Maybe you can text her another day, you know? Why are you gonna do it right before the wedding as if you gonna die right after? It's like, I'm thankful for my parents. Yeah. Brought me to life. Yeah. But let me also thank my ex-girlfriend. And also, I don't know, like, do you get that de- Oh, it actually looks really good. Right? Damn. Now what? Just put it on the- Yeah. I should have done it on that paper. <laughs> now I can't really transform it. Transfer it! Transfer it. Transfer it. <laughs> Guess what? I'm about to transform <laughs> it. He's transforming it. Oh, oh. I, yeah, yeah. You want a spatula? Okay, that looks actually really good. Maybe oh. you need some help. No. You need some serious help here. Okay, well, should we do a giant meatball? No. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the meatball. Can you grab my phone and show me the boots? <laughs> now it's the boots. How's this boots? Damn, you're actually really good. Like, I'll only compliment you when it's not a couple's cooking challenge. <laughs> where we're against each other. Otherwise, I'd be talking mad shit about your boots. Where'd you get that? At the clearance section? Your grandma's yard sale. <laughs> I don't know what your grandma did to me. Sending this to my grandma. <laughs> now what? Put into the freezer. F- freezer. Yes. I think I need a little bit of help with my potatoes. I think I need a little bit of help. Can oh. I do that? No. 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 All right. Move aside. I think I need some help with the potatoes. What the f- is this? That's really rude. I never look at your potato and say, Honey? "What the f- is this?" I don't look at your potato. <laughs> Finish chopping the potatoes. Honey, 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 I, you finished it. <laughs> he really wants credit today, okay? Oh, yeah? He really wants all the credit today. So he finished chopping up the potatoes and he had a brilliant idea to chop it a little bit slower. Or, I mean, what is it? <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay, continue. <laughs> chop it a little bit smaller so that they would boil faster. I'm about to rinse these and then we're going to throw them into the boiling salt water for about 15 minutes. Mash oh, I forgot them. one. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> and then mash them up like mashed potatoes and we're gonna kind of fast forward all of that and I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna shape them to be long fries after we mash them. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh my god, this is like dope. You freeze it and then you fry it directly. I wanna make something now. I can make like a little elephant. I don't think you're that skilled. Honey, I make a little um, seahorse. What do you want, honey? I want a french fry. <laughs> no, give me something else. No, Give why? me something difficult to make. Difficult Anything. to make. Happy marriage. <laughs> no, impossible. That's not how you make fries. If you didn't do this with um, what do you call it? With um, Play-Doh when you were younger, what were yes. you doing? Yeah, and then it breaks off or it gets uneven yeah. in certain parts and you get so freaking frustrated. You get damn riled up. First of all, you want to grab a bunch of them, okay. squeeze them together. I feel like I'm watching a YouTube video you while making mash. a YouTube video of how to mash a <laughs> potato. It's been like that since <laughs> we started this series. What are you doing, sir? That looks like a baguette. 
I'm just gonna <laughs> nicely touch it, smooth it out. Seems kind of inappropriate. <laughs> Ew, can you not do such a light feathery touch? We got a giant french fry baby. Okay, I will just make balls for you. <laughs> Is it gonna get cooked inside? I heard you can fry it and then throw it in the oven for a little bit. to say though I peeled the potatoes really well mm. I deserve to put my name onto this group project he was sick of my shit with the potato nonsense I got potato everywhere so um he made these beautiful potato logs I don't even want to call it french fries what are these logs what's your body type <laughs> so we're gonna go pop these into the freezer you want to make sure the french fries are pretty pretty frozen before they're deep fried so I think we're gonna be back in like an hour or two I'm probably gonna like curl my hair so um in that meantime so I'll see you guys when they're frozen Hi everyone, it's the next morning. This is how long giant chicken nuggets take apparently. I didn't know that going in, otherwise I would have just postmated regular chicken nuggets. We are going to be replicating the McDonald's batter. And so what they do is they have a dry batter, they have a a wet batter, okay? And, <laughs> and we're gonna have to dip it and then freeze it again. So I guess we should start with making, okay, you make the wet batter, I'll make the dry batter. So you need eggs for your wet batter. Why is there a dry batter and then a wet batter? It's like when you do the flour and egg thing, you need one thing is wet, one thing's dry. Ah. Yeah. So I do the wet one? <laughs> yeah. Ew. Okay, <laughs> you need some eggs though. You're gonna beat the eggs with chopsticks? If you don't beat eggs with chopsticks, I beat it with a fork. You're not a real Asian. I'm just saying. <laughs> you never beat it with chopsticks? Um, I feel like I did at one point and it did, it's not effective like a fork. It's not effective? Yes. My grandma will have a talk with you after She'll this, okay? She'll beat me with her chopsticks. <laughs> she will beat you up with the chopsticks real good. Really? You want to hear something really funny? Yeah, sure. We don't even really use forks in China. That last time my grandpa went, before he went back, he was like, I should bring some forks as souvenirs. <laughs> as souvenirs? You're yeah. lying. Because he never uses fork, you know? Sure. He's real cute. <laughs> I did two cups of flour. If you're only making one giant chicken nugget, which I feel like if you're going the whole step of like even making this recipe, why just make one, make two while you're at it? You're gonna need two cups of flour and one cup of cornstarch. And whenever you're done, you know. <laughs> whenever you're done. Look at that, you guys. Mix some of the dry batter. The perfectly mixed. What is it perfectly mixed? Like I said, we didn't season the chicken nugget originally. She says so unconvinced by this entire recipe right now. I feel like I'm adding to a Zen garden. Okay, you didn't have to do all that like that, you know. Two. You salty, bro? Okay, one teaspoon of ginger. You know what? This is so unproductive. Because I'm all about efficiency on this channel, which is why we create giant chicken nuggets. <laughs> but I'm just going to open this up. Four flour. Four flour. Yes. Mm. Is it right here? That's a good unit of measurement. Thoughts. Okay, wait. I messed up already. That's okay. It's fine. Honey. <laughs> it's fine. This we is teamwork. <laughs> You're the shittiest teammate. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. this nugget. Look at this boot. <laughs> it's a boot. Boots and pants and boots. And oh my gosh! Learned it one time. I never hear the end of boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. But like in the most Chinese accent I've ever heard. What Chinese accent? <laughs> I saw a comment that was like, it's the funniest to watch Step Beyonce with subtitles on because the subtitles never understand you. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Are you done? That's a big nugget, huh? Yes. Look Are you at done? It. It's almost as big as your face. Oh, okay. You had to. I mean, I get it though. I came for you. I came for your branding real hard, huh? Didn't mm -hmm. I? I have a thing going on. Wow. That's disgusting. Now that I have the boot of the nugget dredged into the flour mixture, we're gonna put it into the dry batter. I've never been more proud. Okay, okay. It's okay. like a baby. Okay, put it in, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so intense. Weird. This is weird. We made a giant chicken nugget. One more time. I'll do the same thing yeah. one more time. Mm -hmm. This is like a um like a award. <laughs> you know? <laughs> last thing I was thinking of. I don't know. Yeah. I was honestly thinking of you uh, saying anything. Thank you so much <laughs> for this incredible boots and pants award. <laughs> Look at that. You're getting flour in my glove. Hey, can you not get the flour in my face? 
I already baked my face and beat it. You need more. Honey. <laughs> Guys, I present you with two of the Stephanie Sue McNugget Awards. Boots and Pants. Boots and Pants and Boots and Pants and Awards. And uh, if you want to enter to win this, make sure to check out our... I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, subscribe. <laughs> okay, now we're going to freeze it and we'll be back once it's frozen. I'm thinking two, three hours. Alright guys, Stephanie is currently jet lagging and I thought what better time than right now to finish this video because if she's awake, she's only going to make it more difficult for me. Let's go take a look at the chicken and the fries. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We got the fries and we got the chicken nugget. So far, I give this a 9.8 out of 10. You look as good as this French fry right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's smoking. Yeah. What's happening in here is something I've never seen before. But look at these nuggets though. Don't they look awesome? Mm -hmm. Aren't they perfect? Mm -hmm. I literally woke up from a day nap and now I have two giant chicken nuggets in front of me. The French fries, I feel like they're still cooking. Even though the fire is off, they still smell like they're cooking. It's not it cooking. It smells like it. It's not cooking. It's dying. It's burning. <laughs> it's going to the depths of hell. Guys, well, we have two giant chicken nuggets. I'm not going to bite into it for this video because I'm actually going to eat this for a book bag, which is going to be coming out in probably like maybe a day or two after you guys see this video right here. So I'm so freaking look excited. They honestly look so good, honey. You did amazing. This is 10 out of 10. I would drop McDonald's for this. Who is McDonald's? McDonald's, don't buy their you stock. You know, th that's true. Just look wise, you did great, sweetie. I give him a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comments, what do you rate this? It's a little bit smaller than I expected. What? I thought they were gonna be a tiny bit bigger, you but you know them? what? You're but not. you know what? This one kind of looks like a hash brown. <laughs> um, I am gonna just the say boots. this. Show them the boots. Okay, okay, sorry. I'm show the boots and pants. It's the boots. This looks like a state. This looks like a geographical location. Oh yeah. Also, why did you make it focus on the nugget and not this nugget? <laughs> I'm doing my outro. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. In my brain, I'm so stupidly jet lagged. And I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.